Okay, y'all, my baby child, my baby child um, is 20 and lives in Knoxville. Okay, years ago, we wanted all these children to play sports, you know, to keep them off of dope. And so <laughs> they played all this stuff, all of them did. And um, my baby, my husband's 6'4", I'm 5'8", we breed big kids. So she, in elementary school, was like 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, she was taller than all the little children and the principal and the teachers, <laughs> and she hated it. But the good news is she's very athletic, very strong. So all over East Tennessee, people would call me and say, can she be the goalkeeper for our soccer team? I'll get her an iPhone. <laughs> yeah. Can she play basketball for us? She never played basketball. And you know, y'all, I lived through her. And um, I made her do it. And, and I felt like LeBron James's mama. And so she came to me and she goes, I'm sick of this. I'm not gonna do it anymore. I'm not gonna play all this mess. She goes, I've decided that I wanna cheer. And I said, well, baby, we're big people. And I said, we don't tumble, but I'll, figure something out. Well, in all over the United States, they've got this thing called competition cheer. And it's kind of like, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like Honey Boo Boo meets the Olympics, really. It's gymnast. They're gymnast. And um, there's one in Knoxville called the Sharks. And they said, drop your baby off, and she can try out to audition, whatever you want to call it. So I dropped her off, and they ended up putting her on a bad mamma jamma team because all the little children her age came up to hear on her. <laughs> and somebody's got to throw them up in the air. <laughs> so they were thrilled with her, and they treated us like royalty. But anyway, they said, you're going to come in here twice a week, learn 20, a two minute routine, it's gonna cost you $150 a month. It's like, okay. They said, there's a uniform that you're gonna order and it comes to here. It's gonna expose her stomach. She's gonna have a tiny skirt on with a slit in it with a glitter panty underneath it. It's $300. I said, that's a whore out there. <laughs> And it came with its own bag of whore makeup. <laughs> so that all the little children could look alike. And they said, y'all are gonna travel to faraway lands and compete against other little whore children. <laughs> so we went to like Cincinnati or Atlanta and we had to get hotel rooms and the gas and all of that. And then you drive up to a big coliseum, a huge coliseum, and there's tens of thousands of little whore children walking around. <laughs> and my husband said, there could be pedophiles here. This is the ugliest thing I've ever, something's not right. Okay, so then they said, you're gonna pay $150 for your baby to be in this competition. You're gonna have to pay $30 to put a band on to get in and watch your baby in this competition. Somebody was selling corn dogs for $15. Okay. <laughs> they start out with the babies. So they, it goes from five to 18 ages. So the babies come out in a tiny little skirt about the size of a napkin. <laughs> and they come out to Beyonce's All Single Ladies. <laughs> and their little mamas are in their 20s. And they're not bitter yet. <laughs> And they're in the front doing every move to keep their baby on track because they're, they're babies and they need to be at home breastfeeding. <laughs> so they move up throughout the day into my baby's age and they're the reef sharks. They call out that name, honey, for two and a half minutes, my baby throws little children <laughs> up in the air, flinging little children broken out in a sweat, working like a Trojan. <laughs> Did you see my Spanx? Okay, all right. 
One of my girls said I look like Myrie Cyrus in uh, Wrecking Ball in my spine. But anyway, so, so she throws these little children up. The little children she's throwing up in the air are the flyers. They call them the flyers. And they're freakishly tiny little children. I don't know where these people come from. Their mamas are freakishly tiny. I mean, I come from big people. I've got thick ankles. I can work in the fields. <laughs> and the whole time she's throwing them in there, these little girls are going. <laughs> and nobody knows why, really. So at the end of the routine, after the two and a half minutes, the finale, everybody hunkers down on the stage, puts their forehead on the stage, and my baby is the finale. She pops up and has a little child's foot in her hand and holds that child's foot. I would put it all the way up, but my dress is tight in the back. But anyway, she holds this little child up over her hand. Are y'all listening to me? I mean, it was a big deal. I mean, could you hold her up over your head or vice versa? I mean, you know, it's a big deal. So anyway, everybody went nuts. But she said, after it was over, she goes, I'm tired. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to go back to playing. She ended up playing volleyball the rest of her childhood. But she said, I'm keeping that whore outfit. <laughs> she said, I'm going to get married in it.